From the XBTV studios in Arcadia, California, I am Jeff Siegel. Thanks for joining us on our Belmont Stakes preview as we look ahead to the third jewel of racing's Triple Crown Saturday at Belmont Park. A great card on Saturday at Belmont, 13 races. If you are going to play the 13 race card at Belmont, we suggest you do it on the First Bet app or at ExpressBet.com. And here's why. You can make a $10 win wager in each of the 13 races, up to $10. If your horse wins, great, you win. If you run second or third, we will give you your $10 back. You can't beat that, so take advantage of that promotion on Belmont Stakes Day. We are going to take advantage of Eddie Olchek, ace handicapper. And Eddie, I'm not sure if you are interested too much in playing on Saturday. You've already made the week. $35,000 <laughs> hit on Monday in our Memorial Day handicapping tournament. But we're going to tap into your knowledge none nonetheless. I need to know what you know. How do you see this week's Belmont? Well, uh, Jeff, always great to be with you, and uh, thanks a lot for having me. Uh, you never have enough, right? You can never have enough, and I uh, got lucky uh, on that uh, contest on Monday, and uh, really, uh, really excited about this coming weekend. I hear you talking about the Belmont. You're right. I mean, it has got a, it is a great card at uh, at Elmont, New York, and, and for me, in the Belmont, uh, I think there are a couple of horses that are throwouts for me, and I'm going to zero in. Pretty much on four horses. I'm going to zero in on the two essential quality, the three Rombauer, the four Hot Rod Charlie, and also the six Known Agenda. But my pick is going to be the two horse essential quality. Jeff, we talked about this before the Kentucky Derby. I did not like him in my top three. I actually picked him for fourth. He ended up finishing fourth. I, I thought he left his Derby race at, at the Bluegrass at Keeneland about a month before that. He had a tough trip in the Derby. He was bounced around a little bit, and I, I really believe is that this time off here really sets him up really well. He's bred the run the mile and a half, which, again, is a question mark for all of these horses. A lot of these horses may never run and do it again, but I think he can be tactical. I, I think that Luis Saez can get this horse into the race, sit a nice trip, not have as many issues as he did in the Kentucky Derby. I think he's well-rested, and look at before the Kentucky Derby, he didn't do anything wrong. He was a perfect five for five, two-year-old champion. So for me, everything's going to be around essential quality. And I'm probably thinking two to one, five to two, I'm hoping, because I think that Ron Bauer is going to get some money. Hot Rod Charlie's going to get some money. I don't think there's any doubt about that. Jeff, what about Rock Your World, right? I mean, didn't have the greatest trip in the Kentucky Derby. Probably going to be the pace of the race. Can he, get, can he go that far? I'm not so sure. But for me, everything's going to be around essential quality. Well, I, I'm thinking that uh, maybe Rock Your World will be able to get a mile and a half, but he'll only get it on the front end by himself, loose on the lead. Now, he worked in 58 and changed the other day, so I know that John Sadler's cranking him up, and the, there's only one way to go. Go to the front, try to switch off and relax, and try to outrun everybody. And uh, he's going to come up to the race right, and then hopefully this time we'll, he'll get out of the gate cleanly, and then we'll find out. But in handicapping a mile and a half type of race, Eddie, how much do you look at pace, or is it just basically... At a mile and a half, just bet the best horse. What do you think? Yeah, I've, it's probably a combination, Jeff. I, I mean, I agree with you. I mean, sometimes and we've seen it, right? We've seen it on grass. We see it on dirt at all levels, right? Whether it's 20 claimers or you got stake horses or you have world-class horses that are able to get out there and get really brave. Again, I mean, to me, you know, what what is that what is that pace scenario going to be like? I mean, can, can, can they go three-quarters of a mile – um, you know, can Joel Rosario go three quarters of a mile, six, six furlongs at the start of the race? Can he, can he go in 13? Can he, can he go in 12 and four? I mean, can, is he able to do that? And then will he have anything left turning for home? So uh, that, that to me is really the interesting dynamic of when you're looking at great races that are so far in distance. And we all know pace does make the race, but uh, I think essential quality is not going to be too far behind. If Rock, the Rocky world certainly is going to be the pace. And I think we agree on that. Uh, I don't think essential quality is going to be too far back. And I kind of thought the interesting horse, as far as the speed aspect of it, not only Hot Rod Charlie of, you know, getting into the race and maybe putting a little bit of pressure, but what about Pletcher? What about Pletcher's other horse overtook on the outside with Manny Franco? Blinkers are on, maybe, you know what, maybe just kind of in, you know, in, in this race here to put a little bit of pressure on the speed here. And no one agenda is a horse that can sit off a little bit and, and maybe make one run. So, uh, you can go a lot of different directions. I, I wouldn't talk anybody off anybody in this race, but uh, I'm going to go with the two horse and think essential quality gets back in the wind column. 
Okay, well, it sounds good. And Central Quality, who's been beaten just once, and he will uh, become a major factor in the uh, Eclipse Award race for three rolls if he can get back on track and win the uh, Belmont Stakes. Eddie, best of luck. Thanks for the information. We will follow it closely as we should. Uh, handicapping champion last Monday, and uh, he might continue on his, with his hot streak. I'll tell you what you should do, though. Uh, get the advice from all the good handicappers. You can get the updated Belmont Stakes wagering guide. It's free. Download it right now and then be prepared for Saturday. Best of luck on Belmont Stakes Day.